major development for the judge in Georgia as he looks at whether or not he's going to remove Bonnie Willis from the Trump case over the Georgia 2020 election. Cell phone data put forward by the former President Trump's legal team in Georgia claims to show that Prosecutor Nathan Wade visited her home, her condo, at least 35 times in 2021, appearing to contradict the testimony that they both gave that they had no romantic relationship until after she hired him to do this job. So you can see why the timeline is very important here. Senior correspondent Steve Harrigan gives us all the details here, reporting from Atlanta. Hi, Steve. Martha, with attorneys for former President Trump working with a private investigator and submitted cell phone records from that prosecutor, Nathan Wade. It says they show more than 2,000 phone calls between Wade and Willis in 2021, and also it shows more than 12,000 text messages between the two, and they say it shows that Wade's phone was stationary around Willis's condo overnight on several occasions. It's important because Wade and Willis, both under oath, gave testimony that their relationship began only in 2022. That's after Wade was hired. 2022, around March. I do not consider our relationship to have become romantic until early in 2022. I'm saying sometime between February and April of 2022. Now it's up to the judge whether he will admit these cell phone records as evidence. He scheduled a hearing for March 1st. That will determine whether or not he'll find Wade and Willis uh, guilty of misconduct and potentially disqualify them from the case. Arthur, back to you. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Steve Harrigan in Atlanta. With that, we bring in John Yu, former Deputy Assistant Attorney General and UC Berkeley Law Professor. John, always good to have you with us. Uh, this was a big point during these hearings, trying to nail down whether or not they had any romantic relationship and whether that was the motivation for her hiring him and then being paid with state tax dollars, uh, and then taking trips with the money that he made in that job. That's what's at issue here. What do you make of this information? How reliable does it look? And does it prove anything? This information nearly shuts the door on any claim that Willis and Wade have that there's no conflict of interest. It's very hard to see how the judge can't admit this evidence because it backs up with real facts, not testimony, real hard facts, from cell phone data, what President Trump's lawyers are saying. And then if that's the case, how is this judge gonna say there's no conflict of interest? In a way, it's not really important just when they start up a romantic relationship. They already have a very intimate relationship. 2,000 phone calls in just 11 months, 10,000 text messages in 11 months. That already shows by the time she hired Wade, Willis and Wade already had this intimate relationship they're in a lot of trouble. It's not just going to be this disqualification. I bet that they're going to be investigated by the Justice Department, either the Public Integrity Section or the U.S. Attorney in Georgia for not just perjury, for also acting unethically when they're receiving federal funds and support. Yeah, um, that that seems to be the, the crux of the matter, because I think a lot of people look at this and say, well, what difference does it make, you know, if there was a relationship there? But the issue is, as you point out, they may have perjured themselves. Now, this was not a trial. This was this was a hearing. Do those rules hold up? And what do you think Judge McAfee does? He's got a hearing on March 1st. He's obviously in a very difficult position here. Um, how do you think he, he will handle this based on what we know about how he's handled it so far? I think he's going to find that there is a conflict. In fact, I think Wade and Willis with this evidence, Wade should just disqualify herself now. But then the judge will have to certify this needs to be moved to another DA, another prosecutor. There's a Georgia body that's gonna be in charge of reassigning the case. But I think at that point, Trump will have achieved his objective, which that would almost certainly delay this case beyond the November elections. I don't see how this case could go to trial this summer and be consistent with the rule of law if this judge finds a conflict of interest. Why didn't these calls come out before in the discovery period here? It's interesting. I think if you look at the testimony which you played carefully, I think that they were very cagey. They might try to say, oh, there's no phone calls. There's no real evidence that I was there. Now there's evidence. It took a while for this private investigator to go through thousands and thousands of phone calls, movements, geolocation data. So it's not a surprise it took them uh, this long, but in a way they create a trap 
for Willis and Wade. Yeah, you know, you can't get around the cell phone evidence these days, um, and they have tracked his phone going to her place and then being stationary there until the early hours of the morning, um, which obviously doesn't look good for the argument that they made. It uh, contradicts it. John, thank you very much.